So I'm really excited to be performing better, at least by my standards, in Tekken 8 and seeing different players in the community and running into them and running sets with them. I wanted to cover a specific game I had with a really cool Reyna player, Jen Crescent. That is not the match. The, here is the match. And I wanted to highlight some things, uh, pros and cons, as I did really well in the set. Um, and I wanted to point out some things that I think Safina does well versus Reyna in the matchup and some things that don't work in Safina's favor that work for Reyna. Uh, and Ian Crescent is pretty awesome. I'm going to put a link to their channel and Twitter in the description. They're pretty popular. They also do art and commissions. I'll see if I find a link for that as well. And before I hop into it, let's just run over real quick the pros and cons. So the pros for Safina are her down forward 2-3 and, and in general her crushing moves down 3, etc. Um, so down forward 2-3 is a safe, high crushing, tracking launcher. And the reason this is good, it goes under electrics. It's not the best for uh, Reyna because she doesn't have to do electrics all the time, which you'll see in the match. Uh, but it is something that if you could place it against an electric, I mean, you're going to get half damage to the wall. Another pro for Savina is her backdash versus Reyna. Reyna is very stubby, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, she does have moves that reach far like forward, forward two. But when you are in a neutral close quarter situation and Reyna is trying to pressure you, you can get away from her. So that's not good for Reyna. She also, in my opinion, lacks a good counter hit button. I guess down forward four or, or forward four. Uh, the, the Heihachi kick, that's pretty good. But even that, again, I go back to point number two. You could backdash out of a lot of things and just kind of leave her stuck. So she has to kind of make up for that. The cons for Safina and the things that work well for Reyna. Uh, she can kill Safina stances and pressure options in heat simply by using her generic down four. She has a generic 12 frame down four. This will beat any uh, raw stance entries like... Um, uh, not any of them mostly like scarecrow some instances in tarantula and also when safina goes in the heat she gets a ton of power crushes and down four will kill that because i love the flow chart setups that do not work without heat that automatically work better because of the power crush and heat and down four will kill that uh, it'll interrupt the power crush lows beat power crush uh rain is three plus four that crushes safina super well i lost a tournament set just off of that move uh, so if you get a read on down three safina's down three in a mantis that move will kill it um her while standing one i think it is her 13 frame punish a down three is minus 13 in stance so that's going to kill safina too if you could block that uh and her small body uh her small hurt boxes mess up safina's combo sometimes which didn't come into play too much except one time in this match let's go ahead and start it though and let's see what we got round one fight all right round start three plus four very good that move is really good versus safina bad offense by me this uh kick that he's doing is minus like nine or something you have to do electrics and it's punishable if you don't do the electric option i, I think it's like down forward three plus four or something uh, not down forward forward neutral down forward um so i didn't do a good job taking my offense there nice punish that i get under his jabs or uh, their jabs i'm not sure uh their pronouns or who they are actually i just need to press them let's go this is a mistake here. I make sure the volume's not too loud. Should be good. Just lends to the unfamiliarity of playing first Safina game. So I pressure them at the wall and I crush them. They seem unfamiliar with Safina. They lay down initially, which is not a bad idea. But getting up and ducking versus Safina is a bad idea because if he had just stood up and blocked, even if I did a low, the wall's not going to break. And you're going to see here, I'm going to opt to use my heat to take him to the wall. I like to do this combo, hold forward here, and they're trapped against the wall for this nice string. And just caught him. Just caught him right there. That's it. Alright, checking for mids. Nice punish. This was really good. This, this fucking pissed me off. I can't mind. I'm trying to sidewalk left so I could beat like forward forward two and electrics. And they just realign. What they did was dash up and realign with down forward two. Um, so that's down forward two is a good option versus Safina because especially me, I'm going to try to go into your electric. All right. Good. Beat the 
pressure up. He's keeping his turn. This is awesome. So if you get this power crush, it breaks the floor here against airborne moves. Terrible combo. I misjudge it. He's got good pressure. I duck because sometimes it's just worth it to duck versus her. the unbreakable grab. Probably would have been close to death. So you notice Yin Crescent's gonna do well if they just keep the pressure up. And knowing how to interrupt Safina, electrics, I could uh, knowing how to interrupt Safina is very important because you can keep the pressure going if you can cut off my flow charts. You went too far. Terrible combo. Right here is another thing I wanted to highlight. Look, this is just highlighting the uncomfortability of the matchup they have. So this move, what you want to do here, this is what I just want you to do. This is like minus 11, so you can't actually jab punish it. But what you can do is just take your turn back. So I stay in it to see what he does. And the things I would recommend would be down forward one or um, Reyna forward four. That would have just totally erased my turn. And it, put, it would have taken my uh, flow away, my momentum, and put it back on Reyna for them to keep going fast. And, all right, so I hit him, stuck in Scarecrow. Probably gonna Heat Burst, yep. Two, three to Heat Burst. Please don't break the wall. Oh, I didn't break the wall because oh, the wall's, not the wall's already broken. broken or whatever. So there's no coins there. Right here, so I'm trying to play this now, and I get it. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. So against any Mishima that throws a lot of electrics, this move is going to launch them. So let's see what I do with it. Heat burst to get the momentum back. I try to keep it up. Get a counter hit. This is gonna hurt. And that's a power crush. You win. Oh wow, 400 points. Another thing that they were doing was um, I think they did three plus four again, and you, I think this is gonna be a common theme. They are reacting to my raw tarantula entries with three plus four, so that's really good because it's gonna cut me off. See if you get his get your offense going. There you go. Keep the pressure up. Don't let me go. Yep. I'm against the wall. Not anymore. Keep the pressure. I could have punished that. All right. Space out. Very good. Three playing three plus four versus Safina. I recommend because it's, it's gonna it's it probably catches a lot of people, but especially Safina. Down three. Look at the electrics. Ooh, nice hit. Keep the pressure up. This was a big mistake by me. I don't know why I ducked there. Just don't duck when Reyna has heat, in my opinion. Unless you have to in one of the stance mix-ups. Oh, wow. Start round. That's going to come into play soon. All right. Good combo. Keep the pressure up. Ah, Reyna stuff, man. Got set up. I have to be mindful that they can high crush. I ducked, but I didn't catch it. And there you go. Three plus four. The last hit tracked me. You do? This was an oh, one, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm yelling in the clip, too. I have a read that they are going to throw electric or, you know, something at the start of the round. And I'm, I'm going to play down one. My 12 frame counter hit confirm mid. And do they stab? You do? Now it just goes for it. Beats me. Damn. Breaks the floor. 12 frames. The Crescent is up big right now. Alright, break the wall. No. Oh, they had a nice wall combo. Alright, keep the pressure up. So I get it back. I land three and go for offense. Three again. Don't get it. Now I step the three plus four. This was crucial here. So this is something I also struggle with is identifying when to take momentum back. And it looks benign. It looks like good defense on my part, but really, Yen Crescent probably should have never went for that right there. Even though it's been successful for them. Right, so three confirm hit. Again, remember what I said, three plus four. Look, I, I like to go on a raw tarantula a lot, and they are reacting to that. I didn't realize that till the playback. So I get three again, go again. And this time I walk, I don't know why I walked. I don't know, maybe they were gonna heat burst or something. This move that I do is minus, I think like nine on block. It's minus nine. So probably try um 
just anything. But she, this big slow 3 plus 4 that's coming up, I'm gonna go right around it. And this time I get the down 3, 4, no launch. Now I'm trying to keep momentum. I'm, I'm panicking though. I spent my key early. Nice punish by, by them. Alright. I, I don't blame them for ducking there. You have one pixel of health. I get it. If you get the block, you get a punish. But try not to... Try not to uh, mindlessly duck for Safina. Uh, I'm trying to keep momentum. What little momentum I have. Again, I panic here, but this ends up being dope. Look how far that wall bursts. Let's get it. Alright, gotta take him to the other wall, just about. Up. I gotta start doing backflips more. Again, look, a react, 3 plus 4 with heat. This is big. Look at the damage. I also, I'm curious, do they recover a lot of health? Watch Reyna's recoverable health on this. This was my, I used to play Reyna for like a few, like a week. But nice little chunk of health back. Works out great. Alright, nice throw break. Oh, I caught him. You're in trouble now. No break on that one. Now it's anybody's game. And if you notice, it's just these super small things, like... Not taking your turn back properly on, like, a minus nine, right? Otherwise... Good. This was big mistake. This is classic Safina setup, man. If you get hit by down three, do not press. I am so plus, you're just gonna get counter hit. Boom. Counter hit launch to the wall. Oh, I, do. I tried to explode it, but it didn't work. I missed the confirm there. Heat burst to try to get momentum. I tried to play back to sidestep. I talked about this in another video. If you, I like to do this because people often um, sidestep after heat burst. And if I catch back to the Safina move that just got crushed there, I can get a unscaled uh, heat smash guaranteed. It's like plus 12. So I get to do that or jabs. Of course not. But Reyna, Reyna, this is another suit of Reyna. This is just Reyna specific. This isn't Safina versus Reyna. This is just like... Uh, heat burst, right? What's what's a Reyna going to do? They're crouching. They're going to go for their... Not, of course. Their um, full crouch down trick. Reyna. Wow. Alright. What are they going to do with this? Pressure. Pressure. Very good. Ah, they messed up there. And again... <gasps> You want to um, not press when you get hit in the stance entry. Very simple. They're panicking. I missed it too. There was another point. Um, I think this combo is going to kill. There was another point in the match somewhere where I did Mantis. And I went to 1-3 and they didn't down 4 me out of it. They just let me do whatever I wanted. And that's a big thing with Reyna. Um, yeah, the, her lows aren't the greatest, but they're useful right like this is plus frames because it's countered i think this is zero on hit sidestep four but you have to play sidesteps off her lows in my opinion that's what i would use them for or just block but she her down four will interrupt like if i just did one three into scarecrow without landing a hit and i stayed in scarecrow down four is going to interrupt every single option so that's about it. That's the match. I wanted to share some notes and just talk about Safina vs. Reyna, what they do well with each other, and uh, shout out Yen Crescent. Excited to play people in the community. Thanks for checking out the video.